the SAT will differ in places from what students have learned in school. And for the SAT only, adhere to its rules that it considers standard English. There may not be much left of quote standard English anymore, but the SAT does hold to some features that have not changed in 250 years, and the SAT will test and will penalize students whose learning in school might have diverged. Now, the good news is on a multiple choice test, there should be still one superior answer even for a student with a quandary. And here's why. When there is a good number of teachers who have used alternative ways of English, the SAT, their makers recognize this and don't test it, okay? Classic example, the Oxford comma. It's almost a 50-50 split whether a teacher prefers one versus the other. It is not tested because the SAT wouldn't dare call 50% of students wrong on something that is not standardized. But beware, because so many things are standardized to the SAT, and the students, if their learning might be off, deserves to play to it. When you're back in school, you could bring it up with your teacher. You might put the, the teacher's way on papers for her or him. But please play to the test. If you're a student of ours at Ivy Bound, that's why we're here to get you to play to the test. That goes for math too. But here's an example on English. Your English teachers will say that a semicolon will connect independent clauses that are logically related. True, but what is logically related? There's such a gulf and the SAT, therefore, which doesn't want to have controversy, doesn't play to the gulf. The use of semicolons will conform to clear, concrete rules, like that there needs to be two independent clauses on each side. And it will be wrong if one of their four answers has a non-sentence, not an independent clause. That's their way of saying you didn't learn your stuff correctly. Similarly, on a semicolon as well, the SAT will not test whether a semicolon is preferred to a period, okay? All students learn that these are complete stops. One might be slightly more paused than the other, but because nobody's timing the distance by which you orally say a sentence. The SAT will not go there. They won't even make two answers that differ only by semicolon in one place, period, otherwise. In fact, as a strategy, if that's the only difference in two answer choices, that's it, they're both wrong look elsewhere. It's one of the other choices. The SAT, please recognize, they don't want to have to invalidate a lot of questions. They try very hard to make questions with one superior answer and three inferior answers. They can't do that with nuance. Here's another. Now, the standard that the SAT has used and will continue plays into singular versus plural. Some students have learned that committee could go one way or the other, or orchestra could be singular or plural. The SAT does not buy into this. An orchestra is singular. It has many members, okay? Members of the orchestra, plural. Committee members, plural. 
single committee acts singular. We teach this. We hope that teachers in school are not contradicting this, or at least when it comes time to take the SAT, that they permit students to recognize this is how the SAT is going to play through that. I'll give you a final example, commas versus dashes. Now, I think most English teachers consider the dash to be more freewheeling. You can use it almost anywhere, commas more firm. Does it require more of a pause, more of a relationship? The SAT doesn't ask. To the SAT, a comma is replaceable by a dash and vice versa. And therefore, it too will not test only on that. If you see two SAT answers where comma or dash are the only difference between them, they are both wrong. Now, maybe the error comes in there need to be two dashes to make good subordination and it has to be equal before and after the subordinate clause two dashes fine two commas fine one comma one dash uh, 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 that will be considered wrong we need students to recognize this thanks for paying attention here i'm mark greenstein for ivy Valley.